In this problem, we're told a person exerts a horizontal force of 32 newtons on the end of a door 96 centimeters wide. What is the magnitude of the torque if the force is exerted A, perpendicular to the door, and B, at a 60 degree angle to the face of the door? So let's go ahead and write down what we're given first. So what are we given? So we know the force that's being applied is 32 newtons. So force equals 32 newtons. And so we know the, the width of the door. I'm just going to write it as uh, width right now, but you'll see what it is in a second. The width is going to be equal to 96 centimeters. So that's going to be that. And then we're going to have two different scenarios where it's perpendicular to the door and it's at 60 degrees angle to the face of the door. So the easiest way to understand it is let's just draw it. So this right here is our door. So here's our door. And imagine it's on like some hinge or something like this. So here's our door. And what's going to happen is you can imagine like a revolving door, sort of. So or that's how I imagine it. It's going to rotate around like this. So yeah, it's going to rotate around like this. And we're going to be applying a force right here. Well, it's, it depends on where we are. And there's two different scenarios. But we're going to be basically applying a force to it. And it's going to cause the door to open or whatever. And so uh, basically what they're telling us when they tell us it's 96 centimeters wide, they're giving us the radius. So they're telling us this distance right here. But as you notice, this is a circle. So this right here is 96 centimeters. So they're telling us the radius. So you can just write this is R. So R equals 96 cm. What I'm going to do is convert this into meters. Uh, this is just 0.96 meters, right? Because there's 100 centimeters for every meter. So yeah, 0.96 meters. And so keep in mind what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to find torque. So you need to know that torque is equal to force times the radius times the sine of theta. So the force is just the force being applied. It's going to be constant. It's just 32 newtons. The radius is, we already know, the radius is 0.96 meters. And then the sine of theta is what, or the theta is what's differing in each of these cases. So one where it's perpendicular and one where it's at uh, 60 degrees. So let's do our two scenarios here. So the first one is where it's uh, perpendicular to the door. So when it's perpendicular to the door, theta is the angle between where the force is being applied and the radius. So essentially, if this is where we're applying the force, right, the angle between these two is 90 degrees. So theta in this case is 90 degrees. So the torque is equal to the force, which is 32, multiplied by the radius, which is 0.96, and then multiplied by the sine of uh, the angle, right, which we know is 90 because it's perpendicular. So sine of 90 you should know is 1. So it's really just th uh, 32 times 0.96. So go ahead and do that. You're going to get 30.72. Uh, I'm going to round to 31, though. Whatever your teacher wants you to do, make sure you do that, though. So 31, and then keep in mind the units. This is in newtons. This is meters. So it's in newton meters. So 31 newton meters. That's going to be your answer to A. Now let's do B. So it's going to be the same thing, right? So the force and the radius do not change. The only thing is changing is the angle. So 32 times 0.96 multiplied by the sine of, and so in this case, they're telling us it's at 60 degrees because it's going to be at a 60 degree angle. So essentially here, uh, imagine it's like this. We're applying it this way, and then the angle between this is 60 degrees, right? Because theta is the angle between your radius and your force, so 60 degrees right here. So it's just the sine of 60 for this case. So yeah, that's just the difference between these two. One's at an angle, one's not. So the torque is just going to be 32, or we can just multiply this out. So Go ahead and plug in your calculator, 32 times 0.96 times the sine of 60. You're going to get 26.6, uh, and then I'm going to round to 27. Just do what your teacher wants you to do, though. So 27, and then it's going to be, once again, this is in newtons. This is in meters, so newton meters. So 27 newton meters, this is going to be your answer to B. Uh, 31 newton meters is your answer to A. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.